So what we're going to look at now is marking out the styles. So the top rail, what we have, we have a third of a haunch and two thirds tenor. The middle rail, what we're going to do is get the, the width of it and divide it by three. So we've got a tenon, haunch, tenon. And then the bottom rail, we're going to divide that into quarters. So same again, take the width, divide it by four, and that will give us a tenon, haunch, tenon. So what we have, we have a length of timber. And what we need to do is mark out this so we can get all the components of the frame, legs and brace door and do it so it's economic. So first off, we drop the tape on, measure 620, square that across. top rail and this could be some bracing. From there we can go again. So measure from 620 mark. 620 again. 1240. bottom rail and middle rail last component we need to do styles so same again we know we've measured them out at 1250 so going from that mark again that we may need. So just to recap, we've got a line, a line in the centre for the two styles, a 620 for the middle rail, 620 for the bottom rail, and then a top rail that will be cut and ripped across there, and this piece will be used as a brace. As we do on all joinery components, we find out first the face mark and the face side. So we look down the temper, look for any knots, so there we've got a nice one. So we're going to put that to the back side and we'll call that face side face edge. Do the same on that piece. So we've got a little knot there, not bad that side. So we'll do face side, face edge on that. Now we're going to look at marking 
out these styles. So from earlier, the cutting list, what we did, we allowed a 25 mil form on the top. So that's your first one. 25 mil from the top. Square that across. to look at the middle rail and the bottom rail. So going from the mark at the top, we know that the overall height of the door measures 1200. So we'll mark that. So the bottom rail never hits the bottom of the frame and lace sheet. Door. So what we're going to do, we're going to come up 25 mil, and that will be the bottom of our rail. this up now, 55, 110, and then from the top, 55. So just to recap of what we've done so far with my now, so as we can see we're still in the styles, 
So what I've done, if we look at the top, we've got the haunch there and the mortise going there. Now that will go down only so far. Same with this one. So what, how I've identified that, I've put two black dots where I'm going to mortise out on the machine. So that's the full width of the rail. Same here on the middle rail. So as you can see from there to there. So we're mortising all these out. And the same with the bottom rail, all the way through. But when I say all the way through, not the full depth of the timber. We're just going that way and I'll explain how far we're going down later. So if we spin one of these over, you'll then see what I mean. So let me just, sorry, let me just spin this round. So now you can see the difference. So the inside, we're doing the full rail, whereas the outside, we're only doing the tenon. But notice how I've put these little marks each side. Those are to allow for a wedge space. That will help when knocking off. Same with the middle rail. We've got two tenons, and the middle is a haunch, so the, the middle rail won't come through in that middle piece. And then on the bottom rail, as we've divided in by four, so we have a tenon, a haunch, a tenon, and a haunch.